What's up, YouTube? Back again with another Mega Bass Rod review. I know you guys are liking these, so I'm going to keep going. But today we are going to switch it up and talk about a spinning rod. Now, I'm a big finesse guy. I love spinning rods, even though most of my reviews thus far have been on bait casting rods. Um, my heart and soul lies with spinning rods. Uh, I love finesse. This is actually the Mega Bass US Destroyer Brigand. Now, this came out last year along with the Flyessa as two new spinning rod additions to Mega Bass's USO Destroyer series. They originally launched with just one spinning rod, the seven or the 611 Atomine. Um, I've not owned an Atomine, so I don't have a, lot, a whole lot of thoughts on that rod except for just a couple times I've held one in the store. Um, I felt it was a little stiff and didn't really give me much beyond what I already had with some of my seven foot medium spinning rods, so I haven't picked one up. Um, so. This rod came out with the Flyissa as the two new additions to the Mega Bass Destroyer US spinning rod arsenal. This is a 7.4 4 power uh, rod. The Atomine is a 6.11 3 power. So this is one power heavier than the Atomine, but it is significantly longer at 7 foot 4 inches. Um, this rod is rated up to 5 eighths of an ounce. So what's interesting about this rod is if you want to throw jigs, like you want to throw um, three eighths, quarter, or even smaller jigs. Um, I would probably want to throw a half ounce on this, not with a trailer. Um, but if you want to throw like jigs and you're not a bait caster guy, this is a great option as a slightly heavier power spinning rod for um, jig fishing. Um, so what's this rod great at? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to do an action comparison test on this rod because I don't have any other 7'4 spinning rods, so I don't think it's a fair comparison to put this up against like 7' foot or 7'1 foot medium uh, action spinning rods because this rod is completely different. So I'm going to skip the uh, the bend test, but I'm going to show you right here. Um, the action on the Brigand is pretty cool. So it's got a very soft tip for a 4 power, which is kind of like a medium heavy. Um, if you notice right here, the first uh, one, two, three, four, five guides bends really low. So this has got a pretty soft tip, which makes casting baits on this rod really fun because you can get really long casts with this thing. Um, but then it hits the backbone about the fifth guide down. So it's got a soft um, kind of whippy tip, but then a ton of backbone. So the whole, the whole rod section right here is a straight backbone. So this is a great rod to add to your arsenal if you want to have a rod that can go a little heavier and throw things like tubes, um, jigs from like 3 8 and lower, like finesse jigs or even just regular 3 8 jigs. This, this rod's really good at. Um, you can throw like 3 8 ounce, um, uh, 3 8 ounce swim bait heads, like Kytex with a 3 8 ounce or half ounce even with these so you can throw slightly heavier deeper um swim bait heads with this or you can just throw like half ounce or quarter ounce anything is fine with this for swim bait heads um, and paddle tails what i also like about this rod is you can hand this to someone and they can throw spinner baits with it um, you can throw swim jigs so this rod can actually double for a lot of like typical presentations you would use a medium heavy bait casting rod for but you want to throw it on a spinning so if you got someone in your boat that doesn't like bait, bait casting or you want to like um have something that you can throw with like a little lighter line, maybe really lighter swim jigs. Now what I use this for personally, what I really like using this rod for is dark sleepers. So if you're a fan of Mega Bass dark sleepers, this is like the Mega Bass dark sleeper rod. This thing is so much fun to use. I mostly only throw half ounce, um, dark three inch half ounce dark sleepers, or maybe even the three eighths, but I, do, I usually stick with the three inch dark sleepers. I throw a ton of those on this rod. I threw them all last year. I almost had a dark sleeper or a quarter ounce finesse jig tied onto this rod all season last year, and it is great for that. It's a really good bottom contact rod. It's very sensitive. You get um, your typical um, titanium SIC guides with all US Mega Bass Destroyers. You're getting that amazing um, US Destroyer JDM fit and finish. You're getting that okay cork, um, as usual with Mega Bass Destroyer series. Uh, one thing I want to note real quick on the Mega Bass Destroyer spinning rods is I'm a guy with spinning rods that likes to choke up. I typically don't hold a spinning rod right here. I like to hold it up above. So I'm kind of a, I like that. I like a good foregrip on a spinning rod. And I will say because of the U.S. Destroyer's, um, er, er, um, the, the way their handle design is, you can really get a good um, foregrip up there. So sometimes I'll put my pinky 
um, underneath the handle or I'll just choke up. But either way, this is a really comfortable, really good rod for me because I personally have a big hand and I like to choke up. And a lot of spinning rods, especially like the X-Pride spinning rods, aren't so great at that um, if you're a choke, uh, like choke up. So one thing that I want to note is the balance. So even though this is a seven foot four spinning rod, I have a Daiwa Tatula LT3000 on this rod currently. It's kind of what I ran all last year. And this is an extremely lightweight rod, but the balance on this rod is just fantastic. So I'm just above the lock nut, well, where a lock nut would be. I know the lock nut's down lower on a spinning rod, but anyway, I'm just above the foregrip right there. And this is with an extremely lightweight reel. So you, a lot of times when you put a lightweight reel on a longer rod, like a 7.4, it gets pretty tip heavy. Not on the Atomine, I'm sorry, not on the Brigand. So on the Brigand, what it benefits for is having a really long back section. There's a lot of meat on this handle behind the grip. So you get that really great balance. So this is a really fun rod to use for bottom contact finesse jigs, dark sleepers, anything you're dragging on the bottom is uh, what this rod excels at. But because of that soft tip, but that kind of medium heavy blank, you can do a lot with this rod. It's really versatile for heavier presentations. This is not a rod I'm going to throw a Ned rig with. This is not a rod I'm going to like go super light finesse stuff with this. I'm not going to throw a hair jig with this. Um, this is a great tube rod if you're a tube fisherman. So tubes, dark sleepers, finesse jigs, regular jigs, finesse football jigs, um, swing heads, anything you're dragging on the bottom and you want to make real long casts and get deep, the Brigand is really going to shine. You can also throw, like I said, if you want to go slightly heavier on paddle tail swim baits, like a, up to a 3 8 ounce head or even a half ounce head, this is another thing this rod can definitely do. All season I ran a Tatula LT3000 with um, 10 pound Par Pro braid to a like eight pound fluorocarbon leader. That was my setup on basically all my spinning rods, including this one. So um, I don't really have too much more to say about this rod. Obviously they, none of the USA destroyers come with hook keepers, so you gotta put your own on. I really like this rod. If you're a finesse um, spinning rod aficionado, you probably should have a slightly longer, more um, uh, borderline medium heavy spinning rod in your lineup just for doing that stuff like tubes, heavy dark sleepers. Stuff you want to use lighter line, but you want to have a really good backbone um, for throwing some of those heavier baits. I mean, you can throw a dark sleeper and those finesse jigs on a bait caster, but personally, I like using a spinning rod for those applications uh, because I like making really long casts and I like that sensitivity and versatility you get with the lighter line and um, using a spinning reel. So I love the Brigand. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but after using it all season, I can say it's a fantastic rod. And if you're gonna look at any of the USA Destroyer spinning rods, the, Fly, the Flyissa is extremely light and whippy. That is a rod that is made to throw really small like hair jigs or Okashira screw heads. It's a very niche rod, doesn't do a lot of techniques the Atomine and the Brigand are going to be more versatile rods, and I actually would probably lean towards the Brigand over the Atomine just because of the a lot more things you can do with this rod versus the other rods in the USA Destroyer line. I don't think anybody has talked about the Brigand on any YouTube videos, and there's actually not a whole lot of information about it online, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions about this rod, you want to know anything, please drop a comment in this post. Also hit like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing my 2020 full rod and reel arsenal video in the next couple of weeks. So you want to uh, get subscribed for that. Uh, until then, I will be back with more Mega Bass rod reviews very soon. Thanks for checking it out. Hit like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day.